where this time I will uh, explore every single peri period from the geologic time scale and uh, uh, learn something about them. But let's see again the the whole the the whole picture. So we have the eons. We have the first three eons. They are the Hadean Eon, Archaean Eon, and Proterozoic Eon, which form the Precambrian Super Eon. Then we have the Phanerozoic Eon, which are in still in it, and this Eon include three eras: the Paleozoic Era, the Mesozoic Era, and the Cenozoic Era. And every air have a couple of periods. And let's begin from the Hadean Eon. This is the time before the earliest known rocks on Earth. It begins with the formation of the Earth about 4.6 billion years ago and ended 5 billion years ago. Uh, 5 billion years ago. To begin the next Eon, uh, we see in the first uh, there is no water, nothing, only molten earth. Yeah, yes. So the Arch Archaean Eon, during the Ar Archaean, Arch Archaean, Ar Archaean, Archaean Eon, the the earth crust has cooled enough to allow the formation of continents. It spans uh, from 4 to 2 billion years ago. Now there's uh, less, it's less hot on Earth. And the Proterozoic Eon, this is the time when the significant accumulation of oxygen in the Earth atmosphere. The, proter the Proterozoic Eon extended from 2.5 billion to 541 million years ago. <coughs> so this is the, the time when we have oxygen and we know that at first the oxygen have been poisonous for the current life forms which have been maybe single celled or something. And those three eons form the Precambrian <coughs> Super Eon which it spans from the formation of Earth about uh, 4.6 billion years ago to the beginning of the Cambrian period about 541 million years ago when hard-shelled creatures first appeared in abundance. And then we are in the Phanerozoic Eon, the Eon in which abundant animal and plant life has existed. It covers it covers uh, 541 million years to the present day. Right? And the first the first uh, era era in uh, the Phanerozoic Eon, this is the Paleozoic era. <coughs> Let's see what is interesting about the Paleozoic era. It is time of dramatic geological climate and evolutionary change. Fish, arthropods and amphibians evolved during the Paleozoic, lasting from uh, 541 to 251 million years ago. And we don't have the period, so we will begin with the first period, which is the Cambrian period. Yes, this is correct. So now I'm used. I am using my knowledge skills here because I have already played that game once, but uh, I'm I'm not sure once is enough. So I'm doing it again. And uh, Cambrian period, complex multicellular organisms gradually became more common. The the Cambrian lasted. Um, 55 million years ago, 
from um, 541 million years ago to five to 485 million years ago interesting so which is the the next uh, period this should be ordovician ordovician period yes i'm correct again the ordovician uh, how to pronounce this Cian, Cian, Ordovich, Ordovich period begins with a, a major extinction. Who fish evolved with jaws? Jaws. Oh, so we have fish with jaws. Ah, uh, it spans forty-one um, million years from four hundred eighty-five to four hundred forty-three million years ago. So the next uh, period, this is the. It is not Carboniferal. It is uh, Devonian. I think it's Devonian. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay, so it is the Silurian. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Silurian period. Well, uh, I can uh, check the the numbers though. <laughs> But it will be uh, too much calculation. So, the Silurian period uh, began with a major extinction again. When uh, well, uh, most periods on in years are marked with major extinction. So, it is uh, common for Earth, probably. So, uh, when 60% of marine species were wiped out. Multicellular life began to appear on land, and this period spans uh, 24 million years, from 443 to 419 million years ago. Well, I should fix my head. It's there, still. <laughs> Okay, let's see the next uh, the next period in the okay in the Paleozoic era. The next period should be Devonian. Yes, this is Devonian period when the first uh, ray finned and lob finned bony fish appeared. The ancestors of all reptoids began adapting to walk on land. Spanning uh, 60 million years from 419 to 358 million years ago is the Devonian period. I'm not sure I can pronounce them correctly, but we all see them in here, like it's copied from Wikipedia, probably, most probably. <laughs> okay, so we have. Carboniferous period. Yes, that's it. Well, what is interesting about this period? This is uh, many coal beds were formed uh, globally during this period. Amphib amphibians were the dominant land vertebrates. 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 Uh, spans uh, 60 million years from. Uh, 358 million years to 298 million years ago, and we will end the Paleozoic era with the Permian period. Yes, this is uh, diversification of the early ammonites. The Permian ended with the mass extinction when 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species died out. It is almost 30 percent of life have remained. Yeah, that's not bad, <laughs> maybe. <clears throat> And uh, with the end of the Paleozoic era, we enter in the famous Mesozoic era. Era. This is the era of the dinosaurs. And like it said in here, in here, the era is called the age of rep reptiles. 
It spans from about uh, 252 to 66 million years ago and it begins and ends with two major extinction events, second of which killed off non-avian dinosaurs. And uh, what is more, uh, for this uh, era it is the Pangaea began to separate, so it have been one big uh, su super continent, continent that begins to separate. We have uh, a Pangaea puzzle <coughs> game here on Planet 42, just search for it, or not. Maybe you all have your life, <laughs> right? Uh, and the Mesozoic era begins with the Triassic period. Yes, correct. The dinosaurs first appeared in the late Triassic period. The first true mammals also evolved during this period. It spans uh, 50 million years from, uh, uh, there is some mistake here, from 251 to 201 million years ago. And uh, interesting is to mention the formation of La La Laurasia and Gondwana continents, supercontinents. The second uh, uh, Mesozoic period, this is the Jurassic period like the Jurassic Park period. <laughs> and the first birds appeared during the Jurassic, having evolved from a branch of the of theropod dinosaurs. Theropod dinosaurs. The ocean were inhabited by marine reptiles, spanned 56 million years from 201 to 145 million years ago. This is the period of the dinosaurs. Of the, of, this is the mo most excessive period of the dinosaurs. And we have another Mesozoic uh, period. This is the Creatorius, Creatorius period. Um, during it, warm climate, high sea levels, marine reptiles, ammonites and rud rudists. Dinosaurs continued to dominate on land and it spans 79 million years from 145 to 66 million years ago. At the end of the, peri the period, dinosaurs became extinct. But all of it, we have uh, 250 million years of, uh, of dinosaur ex existence and for that many years they didn't develop any brain. So there is hope for us yet. And we, we move to the Cenozoic era, era which, uh, <coughs> which uh, has three periods. And uh, let's see about first. It is the current geological era from uh, which have began uh, 66 million years ago and continue to the present day. Uh, the separated continents begins to form their current position and uh, mammals and birds uh, greatly diversify in the absence of the dinosaurs. So this year, era begins with the Paleoz Paleogen of Paleogene. It is the first period of the Cenozoic era. Uh, mammals diversif diversified from relatively small simple forms into a large group of diverse animals. Spans uh, 43 million years from 66 million years ago to 23 million years ago. Next, the next uh, period is the Neogen. So we have Paleogen, Neogen, which early hominids, apes, the ancestor of, human, of humans appeared in Africa near the end of the period. Spans, it spans 20 million years from uh, 23 million years ago to 2.5 million years ago. And we have the current period, Quaternary period, 
but mm-hmm. uh, let's see first what is interesting for it climate and uh, environment uh, change changes homo erectus uh, was the first humini- humanoid species to widely use fire emergence of black sea and baltic sea appeared here and it spans um, from 2.5 million years ago to the present days the quaternary period Ta-da-da! and now i know more i probably know more well and this is uh, the game about the periods um, i hope uh, they're pretty accurate maybe i i haven't said all accurate but i'm learning and i will continue to learn till next time